So it turns out stop losses uh, seem to be the biggest disadvantage when it comes to trading boom and crash. Welcome to Boom and Crash Expert Advisor. Today's video, we will take a look at how stop losses work and how to use them. In Boom and Crash, stop losses work differently from Forex. In Forex, wherever you set your stop loss, immediately the price hits it the trade stops okay so forex is like volatilities let's take volatility 75 for instance i move to the current price zoom in a little bit um let's pick a trade with 0 0.001 let's go for a sell okay now i can pull or drag over my position to the top because it's too small it's not going to show so okay unless you you um, extend the gap a little bit if it's too close it's not going to take a stop loss so this is a stop loss and then this is a take profit because at this point i want to take my profit at this point i want to good so what happens immediately the price hits it it records a loss this is simple in volatilities but for boom and crash we can take a position here let's say a sell 0 0.20 when we drag downwards we are what you have a TP because this is selling, so it's going to automatically hit TP and then we are good. I can also set a stop loss right here so that if it spikes, it's going to give me a loss. But if you hover over SL, you should lose about 0.53 USD. But if it spikes and breaks this, we are going to get more than that because the stop loss is going to be recorded at where the spike ends. Let me bring this a little bit closer so that the spike can break through. So now our loss is supposed to be what 26 cents. So I'm going to wait till a spike occurs, and then you'd see what I'm I'm trying to to teach you. Now at this point, because we have um, we have the price, the current price moving a little bit away from the place we placed our position. You can even drag the stop loss in between the position we took and the current price so it can be here now if there is a little spike and the spike doesn't break through our position which is the the dotted green line then it's going to take a profit because from where we place our position to where the current price is is profit this is a profit zone so if a spike should break this stop loss but doesn't go beyond this green dotted line then we'll still be in profit but if it breaks it and it it breaks a stop loss and breaks through the green dotted line then we have a loss because above the dotted line is a loss zone and this is a profit zone so we we'll wait for a while the spike has happened but then because it's in the profit zone when we go to our history you see it recorded what profit so even though the sl was in between the position we took and the take profit it still results in a profit stop loss still results in a profit because it's within the profit zone which is under the position we took the sell at 0 0.2 lot size so that's how this works so it's going to read and go down again and also you can attach a trailing stop to your positions but you should do that when the price or the current market price is a little bit far away from where you place your position then you include a trailing stop so i'll show you in another example but then uh, i want you to know that one way you can control your losses is to trade for a spike if you trade for a spike you can control your losses let's say you go for a buy here you go for a buy what happens is when you pull this down this is your stop loss now initially stop loss was pulled up but now stop loss is pulled downward and the take profit can be up here okay when you hover right you see how much you're supposed to lose and you see how much you're supposed to earn if a spike should should touch this but if a spike breaks this you earn more than 1.55 usd as is indicated and here when you're trading for a spike by buying on the boom market and selling on the crash market vice versa you realize that you can control your losses in the sense that when the candles or when the price market gets close to your sl 
you can allow it to touch it and then you you risk only 0 0.51 loss that's how it works so if you want to control your losses and decide on how much you want to lose per trade then trade for the spike but if you, you are okay with uh, not having control over how much you're going to lose then you trade along the trend so there's always a disadvantage and an advantage in trading both ways um, so let me show you how the trading stop works for trading stop uh, this is boom 1000 we could go for a sell and move along the market but then when the current price market is a little bit far away from your current position then you can come in with a trailing stop and then you set the number of points so try this on your demo first know what 4000 points look like know what 410 looks like and so on and so forth you can even come and customize with the number of points you want so let's say a thousand points but a thousand points is not accepted and so the okay is not uh, is faded out so we check 2000 it's not working 20,000 is working okay so I think the minimum for this particular position is 4,000 I don't think 3,000 will work no all right so maybe four thousand points and then you click OK so it's going to trail if there is no spike here then it's going to trail four thousand points so you see that the SL will be moving together with your current market price but you should do that when now you see that it, it just appeared it just appeared it wasn't there at first the red line wasn't there why because we have reached four thousand points so you should do this when your market price is farther from the current price level so that if a spike should happen you will not it will not close your trade in a loss right now if a spike should happen and, and if it breaks if it breaks the the stop loss and then the, the dotted green lines it's going to result in a loss let me zoom in again and you see that the trailing stop will move it will follow the candle when it opens again or when it's a little bit far away for let me let me dock it out and then you see it so just keep an eye on this you see how it moves with the price I'm just hoping there is no spike you see how it moves with it yeah so it calculates and changes its its uh, position after every 4,000 points because your trailing stop is 4,000 so that's how this works make sure you are far away from your position and then you set a trailing stop so as you can see a little spike touched a trailing stop and a recorded profit which is the 10 cents over here but if it had broken the sl and broken the position if it had broken the trailing stop and broken the position we took the trade then we would end in a loss so this is how everything works it's very simple your stop loss is always recorded at where the spike ends and your tp is also recorded at where your spike ends so if i go for a buy here and i set my tp here the TP is actually supposed to give me 36 cents as indicated. But if a spike breaks this, the TP is going to be recorded or the profit is going to be recorded where the spike ends and not the 36 cents. So it's going to be record it's going to record more than the 36 cents. I hope that's understood. Yeah, so this is how a uh, boom and crash works concerning stop losses. And uh, you can also use them effectively. All right. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.